Hello, my name is Unicorn. It's time to wait. In this video, we are looking at uh, speed strats in veteran holes of fabrication, and we will start with chicken fight. In this uh, fight, I am performing role of the kite healer, meaning I am baiting the tail whips that produce tiny little charges on the ground, and they fan out from the chickens towards the furthest person away from those chickens in the group. As you can see at the start, we positioned ourselves in a way where both me and my co-healer are piping the altis and we apply Master Architect Slayer on our team members and then I'm running very quickly away because chickens can tail whip very early into the fight. Because we're stacking both the chickens, both the tanks get guard and chickens do enrage and those tail whips hit very, very, very hard. So I keep my eyes peeled and I find this opening. Each tail whip will have opening between the charges. I find this opening and stand there so that I don't hit by them. If I do get hit by them, I'll die. Um, all the regular mechanics of the fight apply. You do have to purge. You do get the sharks. If sharks are growth, you try to kite them or roll dodge away from them so that they don't do too much damage. Because the fight is super short, you will not have to kite shark for too long because after they spawn it's maybe another 10 seconds and fight is done. I'm also wearing all in here and I'm I practice to place my Healy Spring Illustrious Healing somewhere on the stack and I have a tracker that tells me that they do get get it and it's just like I I aimed it and I notice okay if I aim like this they get it because from the distance as far as I am I cannot see anything and I cannot very precisely aim it so I just by trial and error figured out where exactly I need to point my uh, recital to hit the group with it. Next fight is Pinnacle Factotum and Burn and Pinnacle Factotum is pretty simple you just stack as close to him as possible on his butt he doesn't drop and burn. We have both the healers doing damage here and off tank healing and it's just regular strat there will be ads that spawn from the robotic uh, assembled bodies on the ground it's there are three on the ground around the arena on the edges of it one of them at random will appear and it will be either steamer or spinner also random and first one is brought in a group and cleaved till it dies with the amount of damage that you do 10 dds in a group he will not be able to complete his mechanics so you'll be pretty safe to just stand there and parse you can ignore all the conduits and keep parsing boss did get jumped here and it resulted in us needing to reposition it and losing a little bit of damage but even then with entities in the group you should be fine when meteor spawn uh, it helps to group to, uh, move together as a group in certain direction or all out of them with more reps you'll be able to uh, move together more consistently Next fight is our custodian one pile and burn and in here as well as many people need to be doing damage as possible so hybrid builds and both the healers in damage spec um, our custodian damage uh, trick is to have upfront loaded a uh, burst uh, build such as elf bane mechanical acuity and bailork uh, i am since i'm in mk i'm in mk mechanical acuity and uh, Baylorg. Um, here as you can see I drop my stam all the way to 25% because I'm spamming frags and I will not be able to bash wave during the fight so I need to make sure my stam stays low throughout the fight so I can get the second proc of MK. Because the burst window is so short you will not be needing to proc third uh, MK afterwards. And in here it's important to have a boss timer and start placing your dots as soon as it hits about four seconds uh, place all your dots on the ground depending how much dots you need to place obviously do not stand too close to him because you will get hit by that shock line or his shock shield and die if you run forward too early so make sure he actually gets uh, activated becomes vulnerable and then run forward next fight is fabrication committee or triplets this fight is heavily dependent on aoe damage and since i'm a sorg and my co-healer is a necro she is doing damage and i am solo healing and even though i am solo healing i have a bunch of aoe dps skills on my back bar to increase uh, that group damage that way uh, my main responsibility is to just maintain all on the group uh, maintain 
Minor Berserk by casting Combat Prayer, react quickly with the Purge if Fulminates goes off and kill uh, do hit people. Uh, really, there is a way to position triplets in a way where nobody will get hit by Fulminate, but even if people do get hit by it, it's very easy to purge. Success of this fight is heavily dependent on how much damage can you can output in the burn strat because you need to push past the enrage phases into nil phases when the enrage tethers reset so that your tanks don't get absolutely obliterated by the bosses. And so the more damage you have, the better, hence healers doing damage and things like that. And individual responsibility of each person is stand at the perfect distance where you can still hit every single boss with your AOE skills, but at the same time not die to the shock cage of the central boss. Smaller incoming yards are not really a concern because they melt in the cliff and the only thing that would wipe you here is unlucky and rage trap on the stack. Next fight is General Assembly Hard Mode. This fight is very similar to regular trench strat. However, uh, DDs push their damage a little bit further by following him as he goes to recharge in the middle and stopping damage on him at the very moment he becomes shielded so that they don't get feedback. Uh, so you can see here they will run after him and me as a healer I need to make sure they get some hearts on a new position on his butt. And as soon as he gets shielded, they peel away and they have to very smartly place their dots in a way where they will not linger on him and do not give them feedback. Then they return and burn adds and terminal whip up barrier so we can run with the blade and save some time there. As you can see, we're all running in the blade and nothing is happening to us. Kill sec second terminal and then follow back towards the boss to place dots on his path to his position. And again, because DDs are following the boss, I need to make sure that they get hearts all the way on the way, get their all proc things like that. My second set here is MK and then I'm on spal Spalder. As you can see, the kite supports are up there. The healer is on the right uh, from my point of view at the very cor far corner. In that far corner, you don't get hit by the flame uh, hand. And if boss happens to jump, they get knocked back into safe position so again second phase is about to he's about to recharge people follow him and then return the off tank is stacking the ranged ads in in a nice fashion and then uh, rejoins the group off tank is healing here and my co-healer is doing damage so we have only two supports on heals uh, one tank in pure tanking setup and then the healer who does damage again straight right straight just like any regular trench strat because that's where the boss will be parking after recharge in the center um, and wait for him to stand up trace him follow him with the dots for the supports to go up you see the light up uh, poison away as soon as he awakens and sends the shock um, aoes towards the people the poison away will light up and that's the window of opportunity for supports to go up and kite the hands and cut uh, the travel time because they don't need to go all the way around. And you have to finesse it in a way where you have to go there as soon as it lights up, that will give you enough of time to get into the safe area. Up there, there will be some roaming uh, charges on the ground, just walk around them or heal yourself if you do get hit by it. But really, you, sh you should be able to avoid them pretty easily. They are not that big. Again, popping barrier to run with the hands and going all the way to the other side, straight, right, straight. So this is the third one and we're going straight, killing the terminal, waiting for him to wake up. And I hope you'll be able to see here uh, that moment when he sends the shock charges, he stood up. That's when they go over and that's the window of opportunity. As you can see, I was lit up there and uh, supports went up. So really, as soon as it lights up, just uh, roll through it to right or left, depending on whether you're a T or a group healer or, or a healer and go up and take your position as a kiter. In the trench as a healer, I could outrange the stomp, uh, but really depending on whether you have stamp for it or no. In here, you can see some traps in place for some people. So if, 
you see your position taken by a trap just wait out in a trench until the trap goes away and then go to your position as you can see only supports getting um, meteors here and it is don't and to achieve that you need to stack as close to him as possible so you hit his hitbox with your hitbox and cannot walk forward that will cancel the meteors and you will only get support meteors and it will be much easier to heal through this phase and that's pretty much it thank you for watching i hope this was helpful and see you in the next one